we've seen red tide all summer. Some areas are hit harder and longer than others. Yeah, we've been dealing with for 10 months, this latest red tide, red tide outbreaks. 10 months. Earlier this week, Charlotte County put out a local state of emergency for red tide. But some people say it's a little late. It almost feels like when the BP oil spill, they, they didn't do anything about it until a large enough group of people came up and said, we're, we're at the point where people are closing their entire businesses. Sharon says business has slowed down. Some people don't even want to leave their houses because of the red tide. That's mostly what we've been counting on a lot is doing deliveries because people stay in a lot now. They don't want to come out of their place. Sharon says she's had to close their door because of the smell, the door that's usually always open. It's never been this bad. It's never lasted this long. It's never been this strong. It, it's just, it's unbearable. Charlotte County says red tide is hitting hardest now on the Barrier Islands, on Englewood Beach, Don Pedro Island, Knight Palm Island, and Little Gasparilla Island. But it's not unbearable for all businesses in Charlotte County. Areas near the upper harbor of Charlotte County, like Punta Gorda, are seeing business grow. One of those lucky spots is Lashley Park Marina, which is a good and bad thing. So sad to say, but our, our major issues we have had is people wanting to come in with their boats from other marinas to escape the red tide and algae blooms because we are a little bit further inland. Even though red tide has been good for the business, it's not good at home. Rusty lives on Pine Island because he loves the water and usually goes out in his boat regularly, but not this season. I've been boating once this year, period. And the last time I was out was in April. Businesses in Charlotte County can apply for a loan for up to $50,000 to help with the impact from red tide. You can apply for that help at this website. It's the Florida Department of Economic Opportunities website.